So do we use several types of olives? Just some green and some black, I think. Okay. I mean, this is really country, Mediterranean type of thing. You can use basically anything you want. And we want the eight breathed eggs. Okay. Two of them have. And then I like putting a little... A little bit of mayonnaise little on mayonnaise. top? Okay. How about the anchovy filet? I think the anchovies across them is very nice. So I'm going to use first the oil of the anchovy filet here. This is a whole and can since, of that small... And some people who don't like stuff. anchovies, it's too bad. Don't put, don't put it on. I'll put them across like this. Yes, that's I a good think idea. that's nice. As you can see, you can really be imaginative there and create your own salad in one way or the other. And the last one. That's good. We should now spread we should this out. we have a little discussion about tuna fish. Because of the f people that are so afraid of fat and oil, they have influenced the tuna fish people so that we have tuna packed in water. It doesn't have nearly the proper taste that tuna packed in oil. A three ounce can of water packed has, what is it, about three grams less of oil. So. Why ruin the tuna fish just for that tiny amount? So I'm putting and the vinaigrette is, all around on yeah, it. And this is beautiful tuna fish. Can you undo that and put it right I think in we there? Put it right in the center here. The south of France, of course, basil. We cannot yes. forget the basil. So maybe we put a little bunch of basil in the center here. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I'm done. Well, that's a beautiful and salad. And this is a real, I don't know if it's a real salad niçoise, but it's well, a it's, good one. Our version of the salad niçoise, which well, is the best. Another version is, of course, to do it of a young chef in modern cooking are going to do that with fresh tuna. So we could do one portion of this, sauté. And, you know, I could sauté my tuna with a little bit of vinaigrette Yes, here. that would be nice. You know, a bit different. And uh, this here. cut the tuna so this way. I think I'll cook it in fairly large pieces like this. I mean, thin, but fairly long. I'm going to put a little bit of salt here, and in my warm vinaigrette here, I'm going to saute that, this is raw, that tuna. Raw tuna. This is raw tuna, and it's going to saute very, very fast. You know, 30 seconds on each side. So there, we're going to put some scallion, maybe a little bit of potato, some red onion, some basil, Olives, then I saute this. Oh. Pyrotechnic cooking. Tuna flambe. Tuna flambe. And by the time the heat of the pan itself, I shut that off. By the time I finish my salad, it's going to be ready. So we put uh, maybe half a tomato in there, a large tomato or a few small this ones. This is a, a large luncheon salad. Yes. And one egg, maybe one egg or two eggs? I think one egg, because I'd like one left for myself. Oh, good. So here we are. So this is a nice mixture, too, to do an individual one. We have our kind of standard uh, vinaigrette here. Maybe a bit of uh, cracked paper on top. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, I think I'm going to put a little bit of that salad, which they call the mesclun salad, mm -hmm. you know, the mixture of different type of green that you now get in most market. So here I have, nice and fresh. You toss it at the last moment. And this is a big luncheon salad, as you say. That's nice. Yes, I could have that for lunch. Oh, very nicely. And now, prepare our fresh tuna here. We'll put it on top of it, you know, this way. That's a hefty salad. Yes. Well, well that's going to be your whole lunch. That's not too bad. It was great fun cooking salad with you. It's We're going to do it again. We've done lots of salads together. Lots of salad. And I hope you got some new ideas. Yes. Bon appétit. And happy cooking. Good baking salad with you. Great.